Welcome back. Isaiah 8 through 9. Holy Father, teach us your decrees, create in us a clean heart, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence. Pour your Holy Spirit over us abundantly. Give us joy to dreams and visions abundantly in Jesus' holy name. Forgive us our sins, our sins, our children's, grandchildren's, all the way back to the first man, Adam. Holy Father, vindicate and uh, recompense us sevenfold for everybody that has stolen from us and our ancestors in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed, body, soul, and spirit, from the marrow of our bones out to our skin, 100% in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. By the blood of Jesus, our holy Savior, Messiah. <clears throat> Isaiah 8. The Holy Lord said to me, Isaiah, take a large scroll and write on it with an ordinary pen, Meher Salah Hashbaz. And I will call to Uriah the priest and Zechariah son of Jeber Jeberekiah as reliable witness. Then I went to the prophetess, and she conceived and gave birth to a son. And the Lord said to me, Name him Meher Shalal Hashbaz, which is the name he put on the paper, right? Before the boy knows how to say my father or my mother, the wealth of Damascus and the plunder of Samaria will be carried off by the king of Assyria. The Holy Lord spoke to me again. Because this people has rejected the gently flowing waters of Shil Shiloah and rejoices over Rezin and the son of Remaliah. Therefore, the Holy Lord is about to bring them against them the mighty flood waters, waters of the river, the king of Assyria with all his pomp. It will overflow all its channels, run over its banks, and sweep on into Judah, swirling over it, passing through it and reaching up to the neck. Its outstretched strings will cover the breadth of your land, O Emmanuel. Raise the war cry. You nations, be scattered. Listen, all you distant lands. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Devise, devise your strategy, but it will be thwarted. Propose your plan, but it will not stand. For our holy God is with us. The Holy Lord spoke to me with his strong hand upon me, warning me not to follow the way of this people. He said, do not call conspiracy everything that these people call conspiracy. Do not fear what they fear, and do not dread it. That's important right there. <clears throat> the Holy Lord is the one you are to regard as holy. He is the one you are to fear. He is the one you are to dread, and he will be a sanctuary. But for the houses of Israel, he will be a stone that causes men to stumble and a rock that makes them fall. And for the people of Jerusalem, a trap and a snare. Many of them will stumble, they will fall and be broken, and they will be snared and captured. Bind up the testimony and seal up the law among the disciples. I will wait for the Holy Lord who is hiding his face from the house of Jacob. I will put my trust in him. Here am I and the children the Holy Lord has given me. We are signs and symbols in Israel from the Holy Lord Almighty who dwells on Mount Zion. When men tell you to consult mediums and spiritists who whisper and mutter, who do should not a people inquire of their holy God who consult the dead? Why consult the dead on behalf of the living? To the law and to the testimony. If they do not speak according to this word, they have no light or dawn. Distress, that's very important right there. They have no light or dawn. Distressed and hungry, they will roam through the land. When they are famished, they will become enraged and looking upward will cause their king will curse their king and their holy God. Then they will look toward earth and see only distress and darkness and fearful gloom, and they will be thrust into utter, utter darkness. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past humbled, in the past he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honor Galilee to the Gentiles. Galilee of the Gentiles. Wow. By the way of the sea along the Jordan, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light was dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. We need joy, Holy Father. Ha, 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 ha. We need joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as men rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of the Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them. The bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, every warrior... Every warrior's boot used in battle, every garment rolled in blood, will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. <clears throat> 
That is Jesus. That's Isaiah 9, 6. <clears throat> That's very important. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom. And he's a descendant of David. Establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever, the zeal of the Holy Lord Almighty will accomplish this. The Holy Lord has sent a message against Jacob. It will fall on Israel. All the people will know it. Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria, who say with pride and arrogance of heart, The bricks have fallen down, but we will rebuild them. We will rebuild with dressed stone. The fig trees have been felled, but we will replace them with cedars. But the Holy Lord has strengthened resin's foes against them and has spurned their enemies their enemies on Ar Arameans from the eastland. Philistines from the west have devoured Israel with open mouth. Yet for all this his anger is not turned away. His hand is still upraised, but the people have not returned to him who struck them, nor have they sought the Holy Lord Almighty. So the Holy Lord will cut off from Israel both the head and tail, both palm branch and reed in a single day. The elders and prominent men are the head. The prophets who teach lies are the tail. Those who guide this people mislead them. Yikes. That is important. And those who are guided are led astray. Therefore the Holy Lord will take no pleasure in the young man, nor will he pity the fatherless and widow. For everyone is ungodly and wicked. Every mouth speaks vileness. Yet for all this his anger is not turned away. His hand is still upraised. Surely wickedness burns like fire, it consumes briars and thorns, it sets the forest thickets ablaze, so that it rolls upward into in a column of smoke. By the wrath of the Holy Lord Almighty, the land will be scorched, the people will be fueled for the fire, no one will spare his brother. On, that, on the right they will devour, but still be hungry, on the left they will eat, but not be satisfied. Each will feed on the flesh of his own offspring. That is scary. Manasseh will feed on Ephraim and Ephraim on Manasseh together. They will turn against Judah. Yet for all this, his anger is not turned away. His hand is still upraised. Yikes! Yikes! Second Corinthians 12, 1-10 I must go on boasting, although there is nothing to be gained. I will go on I will go on to visions and revelations from the Holy Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven, whether it was in body or out of body, I do not know. Our holy God knows. And I know that this man, whether in body or apart from the body, I do not know, but our holy God knows, was caught up to paradise. He heard it inexpressible things, things that man has not permitted to tell. I will boast about a man like that, but I will not boast about myself, except about my weaknesses. If I should choose to boast, I would not be afoot, because I would be speaking the truth. But I refrain, so on one will think more <clears throat> of me than is warranted by what I do or say. To keep me from becoming conceited because of, because of these surpassing great revelations, there was given me a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan, to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Holy Lord to take it away from me. But he said, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that our holy Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for our holy Christ's sake, I delight in my weaknesses, and insults, and hardships, and persecutions, and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It's the strength of our holy God. And my phone turned off again. Psalm 55, 1-23 for the director of music with stringed instruments and mascal of David. Listen to my prayer, holy God, do not ignore my plea. Hear, hear me and answer me. My thoughts trouble me, and I am distraught at the voice of the enemy, at the stairs of the wicked, for they bring down suffering upon me and revile me in their anger. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death assail me. Fear and trembling have beset me. Horror has overwhelmed me. I said, Oh, that I had the wings of a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. I will flee far away and stay in the desert Selah. I would hurry to my place of shelter far from the tempest and storm confuse the wicked O holy lord confuse their speech for I see violence and strife in the city day and night they prowl about on its walls malice and abuse are within it destructive forces are at work in the city threats threats and lies never leave its streets if an enemy were insulting me I could endure it if a foe were raising himself against me I could hide from him 
but it is you, a man like myself, my companion, my close friend, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship as we walked with the throng at the house of our holy God. Doesn't Jesus say that? Friend against friend, mother against daughter. Let death take my enemies by surprise. Let them go down alive to the grave, for evil finds lodging among them. But I call to my holy God, and the holy Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon, I crowd in distress, and he hears my voice. He ransoms me unharmed from the battle waged against me. Even though, my, even though many oppose me, our holy God, who is enthroned forever, will hear them and afflict them. Selah. Men who never change their ways and have no fear of our holy God. My companion attacks his friends. He violates his covenant. His, his speech is smoother than as butter, yet war is in his heart. His words are smoother. His words are soothing than oil, more soothing than oil, yet they are drawn swords. Cast your cares on the holy Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. But you, O holy God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of corruption. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men will not live out half their days. But as for me, I trust in you, holy God. Amen. Hallelujah. I added holy God in the end. Proverbs 23, 4-5 Do not wear yourselves out to get rich. Have the wisdom to show restraint. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone. For they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. Holy Father, thank you for your word. Teach us your decrees. Create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit with us. Pour your Holy Spirit over us abundantly. Give us an abundance of joy to dreams and visions. Give us holy heaven visits. Give us holy heaven classes, Father God. We bring our sins, the sins of our children, grandchildren, all our ancestors, all the way back to the first man, Adam. Forgive us for we know not what we do. Put it under the holy blood of Jesus, our Holy Savior, Messiah. Vindicate us and recompense us sevenfold for everybody that has stolen from us and our ancestors all the way back to the first man, Adam. Thank you, Holy Father, for another day of life. We, we claim 120 years by the stripes of Jesus. We are healed body, soul, and spirit from the marrow of our bones out to our skin by the holy authority and blood of Jesus, our Holy Savior, Messiah. Have a blessed day.